hi there, my name is Alex and I'm going to talk to you about proxy workflow in Final Cut Pro using Keyflow Pro. There's a couple of issues with proxy workflow in Final Cut Pro. One of them is the file size and the other one is actually moving the files to um, a, a destination of your choice. So both of those issues have been completely solved by this workflow and I hope you'll agree it's amazingly simple and effective. So without further ado, this is Proxy Workflow in Final Cut Pro using Keyflow Pro. Okay, so I'm here in Keyflow Pro. Let's imagine, but I want to do some editing on the train, in a hotel room, whatever I'm doing. Let's just have a look at one of these files. It's about 15 seconds long and it's nearly a gigabyte in size. It's, it's a fairly standard flavor of 4K. It's all shot on a Shogun, um, Atomos Shogun Inferno. Um, all of these files in here, they're all stored on a hard drive. They're all in the same place on a, on a Promise RAID. A fast drive giving me some great performance in terms of 4K playback and storage. The only downside is that I need quite a lot of space. Now, in this case, this is only 60. 65 gigs, something like that. But if you multiplied that by 10, that might become problematical for taking away for the weekend. Proxy workflow in Keyflow Pro relies on these preview files being created. So this is the Keyflow Pro preferences. So in this case, I've chosen a one meg bit rate and I've chosen very small frame size. When I imported these files, it was automatically configured to create preview files. So these have all been done. You can see that from a little green spot here. And sure enough, if I double click this, you can actually see the preview files playing. You can see that lower resolution file. Now, if I come back to Keyflow Pro and I just hit the space bar, you can see that's my 4K file. That's using Quick View from the Finder. So I want to take the low res files away with me to edit. All I have to do is I have to select all of my files here and I'm going to choose send to Final Cut Pro preview files. Keyflow Pro is going to do a quick scan of the files and it's going to prep them up and then it's going to send them to Final Cut Pro either I can put it into an existing library or I can create my own. So I'm just going to call this Shoreditch Offline and Bob's your uncle. I get a new library with all of my offline files in here. And as you can see, these are this very small format, um, but this format is easily good enough to make creative and content driven decisions. As an example, let's just see how small this particular file is here. If I reveal in Finder that file that was originally 900 megs is actually 10 megs at that particular resolution. So that's a massive, massive saving. Some people will also note that I've got some audio in here and I've got a Photoshop file and I've got a, um, a PNG actually with, a, with an alpha channel in here as well. What I really want to do is I just want to take one library with me on a hard drive and take it away for the weekend. So just to be sure that all of my media is inside this library, I'm going to choose Consolidate Library Media and click OK there all the preview files from the Keyflow Pro library have now just been transferred to this library, but they're on the same hard drive. So that was almost immediate. Now you can see my entire library is under a gigabyte from 66. So we've gone from 66 gigs to less than, less than a gigabyte. So that's pretty amazing, but then it gets better. How do I cut? Well, let's create a sequence and let's do a very quick edit. So I'm actually just going to create a sequence at this resolution and Final Cut Pro will, 
resize all the clips anyway. So I'm going to create a sequence there. <laughs> So that's my edit. If we have a look at this in full screen, you'll see that this is the offline quality. This is the rough quality. You can see the aliasing there. You can see the jaggy, it's the classic, classic offline view. So how do I get this back to high res? I can use the new extension available. And this little button down here this is my magic button. All I have to do is drag my offline sequence onto there and Keyflow Pro will do the rest. It will actually ask me where I want to actually store this. So let's say I'm going to do an, an entirely new library ready for color grading, sound work, etc, etc, etc. But I just click OK, like so, close my extension. There's my online, the event's called online. There's my project. Let's open this up and let's have a look at this. And as you can see, everything that I've done is now back at glorious 4K. So, just to recap, you start in Keyflow Pro, you send your files to Final Cut Pro, you consolidate your library to make sure that everything is in it, you make your cut, and once we're back in the online edit suite, we click this little bottom right box. It's an amazing workflow, I've tested it in various scenarios, it's a beautiful thing. We've got lots more tutorials coming up, so keep an eye out for those. And thanks very much for listening. <laughs>